When the area does reopen, what about the Charlotte economy? When will we rebound? How long will it take? The president and CEO of the Federal Reserve Bank in Richmond broke down what he thinks that will look like. Our Blaine Tolleson learned we could be in better shape, though, than other cities. When it comes to opinions on the economy, how about one from a president and CEO with the Federal Reserve? Now, while he did give local businesses some grim news today, he's also putting stock in Charlotte, saying the city is well positioned for a strong recovery. <laughs> The look and feel of a mall store. Many are cleaner than ever and eager for shoppers. They trickled into the North Lake Belt today, where before the pandemic, it wasn't unheard of for the store to see more than 10,000 customers in a day. Well, I think that the best thing anyone can bring into Belk or in anywhere right now is patience. Success in this time will depend on consumer confidence. That is key to recovery, according to Tom Barkin, the CEO and president of the Federal Reserve Bank of Richmond, which includes the Charlotte branch. They need a story that will convince them it's okay to shop or to travel or to go to a restaurant again. Barkin told area business leaders on Zoom this morning that they need more practical health guidance from state and local governments. Right now, he says blue collar workers are most at risk of getting COVID-19 with only a fifth of the workforce able to work from home compared to 63% of white collar workers. He says blue collar families will help drive the economy. I'm hearing from some lower end retailers that they actually see them uh, engaging in commerce more freely. But no matter who you are, working in the Charlotte region during a recovery is a good thing. Charlotte is a great uh, market and a great economy, and I think Charlotte uh, is very well positioned for this. Barkin said that we are in the end of a mass economic shutdown, which he believes will last about a couple of months, maybe even more, but the recovery from all of this is going to take much, much longer. Back to you. Well, local businesses are being cautious about when to allow their workers to come back to the office. The Employers Association surveyed about 150 companies all around the area. Many of them plan to wait until at least June to end their remote work policy. And when workers do start coming back, here are the top three things they're going to do to try to protect them. They're going to be sanitizing more. They want to limit office contact and they're going to have to reconfigure their workspaces to keep people far enough apart from each other.